Can I show you some of some of my favorite TikToks? Sometimes I like to I, I save stuff that I really think is cute. You know what I mean? Released and I went all the way to Nakano to buy it. Everything looks so good. I can't wait to try it. Even the packaging is adorable. <gasps> oh my god. Isn't that cute? Everything just looks so perfect. Time to find out what it tastes like. Bro, why can't we have cute stuff like that to eat? Mm. Oh, this is earlier. good too. Hope you're well. Hi. It's okay. Thanks. It's Jason, by the way. I worked with your husband. Also, for context, uh, this lady's husband just died, and this guy is messaging her. Was very hurt to hear he passed. I lost my dog recently, so I know how you're feeling. I'm here to listen if you want. What? Thank you. Are you from the Ukraine? Yeah, thought so. Women from your country have such incredible hips. Can you yeah, believe Your husband this is a lucky man. <laughs> Sorry, was. Thanks for clarifying. Wouldn't have known what you meant if you didn't add in the was there. Sorry if I was rude. You're just very beautiful. I don't want to screw this up. You already did. Screw what up? My <laughs> chance with you. What? <laughs> Lol. Um, I'm really not ready for anything like that. Because my husband just fucking died. I'm a good guy, I promise. One <laughs> date is all I ask. What I'm the Friday and Saturday. I'm busy then and I'm not looking for that right now. How about next week? I'm busy then and I'm still not looking for anything. I knew your husband well and I know what you expect in a man. I can provide that. Please, all I ask for is one date. I've said no. Please respect that. Of course I respect. Women are their choice. Thanks. I'm gonna go now. Take care. Okay. Should have known you were just a pretty face. You aren't even that pretty. What okay. the if I upset you. That was wrong of me. Let me make it up to you. Dinner on me. I'm free tonight. I'll bring you food. I still haven't your address from when I came over. No. Your husband would want you to be with a man he knows will treat you right Bro, in he all doesn't ways. Stop. God, I'm good at taking care of women, especially ones like you. Oh, it gets worse. Such fuckable Ooh. hips. I am way too sober to deal with this. Bye, lol. Okay, no more chances. Goodbye. I know it's easy to be like, there's no way that this is a common thing but what i've learned from covering r slash nice guys is that this is very common and that most men are like this and if men get mad when you say that most men are like this it's because they're like this <laughs> hi ariel bro, Sorry about so true that is so true bro it's so true it's sad sad but true sad but true sad but true i've i've had my share of nice guy message me from time to time and i'm like bro what the f like bro what the f a meme? What, what's, what is a meme exactly? I've never heard that terminology. Is that, is that a new term? M-E-M-E, -E, is it pronounced May May? A meme, okay. And, and what is that exactly? I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't really, I don't keep up. <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> okay, so it's like a joke. Okay, okay. I'm a meme. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I I'm a meme. <laughs> how how did this come to be? <laughs> oh, you have it right there. Can I can I press? Do I just press play? Sorry, I don't have like a an iPad or an iPhone or even a computer because I'm I'm so busy working on all of the films that are slated to come out uh, one right after the <laughs> other. Do I just do I just press play? Okay, just ah ah okay. <gasps> Wow, that is so peculiar. That is, I, I remember that actually. I was at the Time 100 event and I was speaking to Glenn Close because coincidentally enough- I'm sorry, but this is, <laughs> this is so funny. We actually share the same interior designer and in that moment, we are actually discussing faucets. I know. And it turns out coincidentally, against all odds, we bought the same faucet. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get wilder than that. Is so. it girl who gives a so, so me making that funny face at the context of the story. It's supposed to be, if you're cringing, it's because it's supposed to be cringe. Basically, she's acting like an actress, acting like she's finding out that she's a meme. So she's like one of those actresses that don't know anything about the internet. They don't know anything about memes. They don't know anything. And they find out that like they are a meme or like a picture of them went viral and they're like, what is a May May? Hey, that's, that's sort of, that is, that's what's happening. I'm talking Here, about. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had a so wonderful much. stream. Um, thank you very much. France. It's 
antique she's so with good ivy detailing so she always does like she does these uh tiktoks where it's like she'll act like something she'll be like oh uh mom at the store or mom at like a restaurant or like something ridiculous wow that's so gosh i'm i'm a meme <laughs> i never who knew <laughs> so, checking all the boxes i guess <laughs> fun <laughs> A meme? What, what's... Fun! <laughs> oh, I love... Dude. Yesterday at night. I love his food reviews so much. If you guys do not follow Keith, I swear you should follow Keith. His food reviews are the greatest food reviews ever. And I will never be in any of the places where he has ever been at. But the way he talks about food is just so captivating to me. 24 p.m. I received this message. I was curious, so I went on their page, and these were the first two videos I saw. There's a black-owned seafood restaurant in Vegas that serves your food to you from a robot. And if you're a fan of deep-fried everything, this is where you should come for lunch. The best thing on the menu is their whole fried lobster. I mean, is there even a such thing as too much butter? If you're fried a Vegas local who loves seafood, tag your friends and check out Catcher's Fish House. Like, yo, sometimes you have to realize, like, yo, this is it. It's happening now. Yo, that looks so good. You know? And this, this moment decides... Dude, they fried a whole... Lobster. Less than 24 hours later, I got it. Let's try it and rate it 1 through 10. I spent $83.37. As always, we Not only that, like, he is act like, he's actually honest with his reviews. If something tastes like ass, he will say it. He doesn't give a f Custom service. Immaculate. Like the first video said, they are black owned. And you can feel it when you walk in. Extremely welcoming, warm, hospitality. I loved it. I stopped rating the custom service after a while, but I'm gonna get back to it. Custom service, 8.5 out of 10. I'm going to show you everything I got, and we're going to try it and rate it 1 through 10. Grilled salmon burger, fried catfish burger, three fried catfish tacos, three-piece catfish, a three-piece fried corn with honey butter, a side of mac and cheese, and a medium brisk raspberry iced tea. We're going to start with this corn, because I ain't never heard of nothing like that. I have never seen corn like that. I've never seen anybody fry corn. Like, what the f***? This honey butter. I don't even like deep fried stuff, but this looks way too deep good. Deep fried corn. Is it heavy? Absolutely. Is it delicious and seasoned and crispy? Absolutely. I didn't think I was gonna like that that much. Eight out of 10. We starting high. <laughs> Next is the fried catfish taco. I will say I love a variety. I ain't never heard of no fried corn or no fried catfish taco. He is like having an experience, bro. That's a fish taco on steroids. I thought the toppings was gonna be overwhelming because there was a lot of them. All of the flavors mash perfectly. Again, we high. Nine out of 10. Nine Off out of 10. Next, fried catfish. I got some tartar sauce. It ain't catfish without hot sauce. Oh, that looks so good, bro. That hot sauce will do it every time. Now that one, a little greasy, but the flavor, eight out of 10. Uh, I think up, that is place it? is actually in Las Vegas. Salmon burger. Why this place not around the corner? Okay, we're gonna get into that in a minute. Hold on. Bro, look at that burger. Fries. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep my thoughts on myself until the end. But right now, that's a nine. Easily a nine out of 10. I'm very picky with fries. That fry is an 8.5 out of 10. That season, I don't know what season they use, but I love it. Next up, fried catfish sandwich. Boy! Wait a minute. Hold on. Yes? Am I a freak? Am I a freak for loving to watch people enjoy food? I just like watching people enjoy eating. I don't know why, okay? I, I just I just like it. It brings joy to my life. This is a 9.8 out of 10. 9. I was this close 8. to giving it a 10, but it needs to be a little spicier for me. This is fantastic. 9.8. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Last but not least, the mac and cheese. I done broke into a full sweat. Like, I'm about to be asleep right after I'm done eating. That's cheesy. Hmm. I'm really perplexed. I don't know if I like this or not. It's different. Is that like Parmesan cheese on top? It's... Mm -mm. It's cool at first, but whatever cheese they put on top do got an aftertaste. I'm not a huge fan. 
Four out of ten. Let's get straight to it. I've never said this before, but I'm legit upset that they don't have a line out the door. That's genuinely like puzzling to me. The no. Customer service is great. The food is immaculate. The location is good. They offer Main Street. The price, it is what it is. It's seafood. Seafood get expensive. True. I genuinely can't wrap my head around why this place is not like around the corner. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm Dude, not... this man has saved so many businesses with his reviews. It's insane. Man, I'm stuck right now. I pray and the I The name of the place is called it. Catcher's Fish House. Catcher's Fish House in Las Vegas. That changes. I'm officially putting this in my top three of best restaurants that I've had in Vegas. Top three! And I do not say that lightly. I'm dead serious. And whatever that's worth. But I know I'm going to be back. That... What? <laughs> the first time I ever watched a food review of his that hooked me on his food reviews, it was the review of him eating... He was eating gourmet cookies from, like, one of those uh, drops. Uh, and it was around the holidays. That's when I first saw his uh, videos. He had, like, this box of, like, gourmet cookies. And I was like, bro, do you guys remember? I showed it to you, right? And then... My sister ended up buying, she didn't buy that same box, but she brought gourmet cookies over and I couldn't really eat them, but I ate one sugar cookie, a little sugar one. Uh, the rest of them were for my family. I only ate one sugar cookie, but that shit was the most delicious shit I've ever eaten. Holy shit. God bless you. Have an amazing day. You know what? I'm going back and I'm ordering more and I'm not playing just for the video. I'm being dead serious. I'm going back. Holy shit. He's going to order more food. Bro, it must be delicious. Oh. I'm gonna try to break a world record right now, okay? <laughs> it has come to my attention that the Guinness Book of World Record time for drinking a Capri Sun is 10.41 seconds. <laughs> I mean, talk about doable, right? Does that not sound easy to you? In my brain, I'm like, yeah, I can do that. So I got my stopwatch and I got my Capri this Sun. This dude is sitting in a oh car with God. a laptop. The rules are included in this world record is the time it takes to take the straw off put it in and then start Easy. drinking. I'm nervous. Ready? Are the time the time includes the straw, the straw me removal. Remarks. Get set. Go. Oh. No, no, my god, I'm tanking. I'm tanking. No, I was putting the straw. Stop it. I was putting the straw in the wrong way. Golly, that was 6 seconds already. Okay. No, that didn't count. Everyone stop. Everyone calm down. I thought that the pointy part would be down there and it's up there. Okay, here we go. On your marks. Get set. Go. Okay. Mm, okay. Bro, how can you just gulp that shit so quick? No! Ah! This is harder than I thought. I have to get my straw in faster. Okay, I'm doing it again because I'm not so... <laughs> this is the one, people. <laughs> okay, so buckle up. There we go. Are you ready, Buckle people? Up. To see history be made. <laughs> okay, shut up. Go! Okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I'm trying one more because that was an improvement from the first time. Ready? On your marks. Get set. Go! Can you... No, gosh, start it. Can you do a maneuver where it's like you're stabbing the pouch with the straw while it's still in the in the plastic? I don't know. I'm thinking. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Somebody call Guinness Book of World Records. I have to do it in front of them to break the record officially, so. Okay, I'm gonna go piss myself. <laughs> I'm gonna try to break a world record right now. What is he? Hold on. THX!
Mixer. Coming soon to own on DVD and video. the days. Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. It's www.pillowpets.com. Adopt Pillow your pet. Pillow Pet today. Pillow pet. That's it. That's the that, that, that's it. Uh remaking my come. <laughs> so if you didn't Oh my god. Love her so much. You haven't been answering my email. And you really think you can go? Answering my email. And you really think you can go? <laughs> I love I love her videos. I really like this whole like uh point and click thing. Oops, that last one was my one. It just repeats over and over again. Alright, let me let me let me look, 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 let me look. Ooh, yeah! This dinner is literally magic, and it's ranked number five in the world. Guess how much it costs? Nothing here is as it seems. This is not a sandwich. These are not peppers. This is not a fruit, not a peanut, and not a rock. The sandwich is actually a soup. There's no bread. It's tomato on the outside and a gazpacho sorbet on the inside. You have dishes like their multi-spherified corn sitting on top of foie gras. In fact, they also use those spheres to make this pesto worm served with eel. This is the temple of molecular gastronomy, and the creations are mind-blowing. A porcini mushroom leaf, mango filled with tonka bean, spaghetti that you can see through, and these beautiful tomato Bro, meringue the crackers. Fuck? Everything about this place is weird and unexpected. This is Disfrutar in Barcelona. It costs $250 per person, and this dinner is literally magic. I guess, I think you just pay $250 and you can eat all that stuff. Isn't that crazy?
I am ranking the top five weirdest dishes that I've eaten at restaurants. At number five, we have this face from Muguritz. You crack the black apple blindfold, then use it to scoop out the eyes, which are filled with caviar and pine nuts. At number four, we have this dish, which is not a sandwich from Disfrutar. That's not bread on the outside, it's tomato, and the inside is a gazpacho sorbet, so it's actually soup. At number three You're is a dish soup. where you plug headphones into a seashell and listen to the sounds of the ocean while you eat it. It's from the fat duck, and it's paired with a delicious fresh fresh seafood dish. At what? Soup. At number three is a dish where you plug headphones into a seashell and listen to the sounds of the ocean while you eat it. It's from the fat duck and it's paired with a delicious fresh seafood dish. At number this, is, this is not a parody, this is real. <laughs> Number two, this dish from Diverso doesn't look weird, but the combination is bluefin tuna and a tomato sauce that's been reduced for 48 hours, so it's the most intense tomato flavor you'll ever have. It's wild. And the number one weirdest dish that I've eaten arrives in a prosthetic head that feels like flesh and has eyebrows. It's the lamb brain dish from Alchemist. On this page, we explore the craziest food, so make sure to follow along, but today... I am ranking the this top- This is just- this is like luxury food. That's why it's like- it seems absurd to you because this isn't for like people to like, you know, it's not for normal people like us. I would never want to eat a freaking uh, brain coming out of a prosthetic freaking head. No, thank you. I don't want to eat that. Nah, me. Version of Semi-Charmed Life by Third Eye Blind. <laughs> We took me just going and made this beautiful kind of pedal note. Because there's like a little magic that I'm trying to find. Maybe we should play it with a fucking What sin. is prion disease? Also, is it too kind of uh, not eerie? I think I got it, guys. Oh, mad cow disease. It gets in your brain. Oh, that's terrifying. What? Oh, that's just my crumbling life. I remain unbothered. Do you hear this sound? That's the sound of my life falling in pieces. If I care, you ask, please. I'm too fabulous to squeeze my forehead. I exist in glam and enjoy the flames. <laughs> what? Oh, that's just my crumbling. Oh my god, the sun is out. Time for a prayer! This is a prayer. To God! Or to the Dark Lord. Whoever's listening, I really don't care. Hold I my hand! Listening. I pray to achieve longevity or fertility. I pray to never, never lose the glam. I pray to keep treasuring the most brilliant, golden part of myself, which is my mind. I pray to nature to keep guiding me. Guide me, Lord. I pray for a brilliant future, but also for a brilliant past, because the past made me the queen that I am today. A prayer now for the lost souls. They deserve love too, you know. Por todos los dioses, los santos y las vírgenes embarazadas por el Espíritu Santo. Oremos por la gente envidiosa, por la gente chupadora de energía, por la gente abusiva, por la gente vampira. Cegados por la falta de talento, falta de amor, falta de sueños en esta vida. Oremos. Sí. Oh Amen. my God, the sun is out. Oremos. Time for a prayer. This is a prayer. It is autumn. I love her so much, Jesus. Cállate. My husband is caught in the backyard, so I decided to bless him with my company, even though he does not deserve. I have arrived! <laughs> Good job! Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> it is autumn. Cállate! My husband is caught in the backyard, so I decided to bless him with my company. <laughs> Come waste a thousand four hundred twenty-two hours at the hair salon with me for some reason. There is Pini. She's so excited to see me. I just want to get back to my coffin. As always, we're colonizing the crap out of my immigrant hair. This self abuse needs the correct preparation. Yes, I let her touch me, but only for two seconds at a time. That's all I can bear. Girl, I wish I, I could colonize my hair. God damn it. <laughs> 
Then I think about my world tour show entrance. I think about my future award speeches. My future conversations. Well, my hair, my hair is just way too dark. I can't. I can't. In her castle, my public beef with Meryl Streep. I think about my party scandal where Lenny Kravitz was dying to get my number, but I couldn't stop flirting with Diane Keaton. Debbie knows I'm conjuring my future, and this is why she's not Can't allowed you it? to talk to me. Well, once upon a time, we watched a we watched a video about a girl bleaching her hair, and well, I'm I'm just gonna be honest with you. When you bleach your hair, you are stripping the outer layers of your hair, and you can literally like if your hair is dark and thick, you can literally melt your hair away and go bald if you don't do it properly. But even if you do do it properly, it's still damaging your hair. It's bad. That's why. That's why you know blondies, blondies. Y'all, y'all got it. You go, y'all got it good, man. Wish I was a sim. Or you can be a voice. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I'm still here. Do you know how long it takes this woman to get her hair the color that it is? It's a lie. I am ready to come back from the dead. I am ready to face another day. I don't have to wait for the universe to speak to me. I re I dyed my hair before, and no joke, I had to get it treated like I want to say I had to go back like at least three times, and each session was like four hours. It was bad. I left a message saying. I am ready. I am conquering this world with the accent, the glam, the injured brain, and the worst dice on air. I have arrived. It's not. It's oh not. My. Especially since like you're in so much danger every time you dye your hair. It's just. I just. I don't want to lose my hair, guys. I don't want to. I don't want to lose my hair. I. I quite like my hair. I quite like my hair. I like it. Wigs. That's true. Uh, I do own a lot of wigs. <laughs> I own a lot of wigs, okay? <laughs> what was this one? A space telescope recently discovered galaxies where they weren't supposed to be. And I'm told the lead researcher was so shocked by this, he spit out his coffee when he realized what kind of data he had on his hands. I forgot why. Was I high when I saved this? What the fuck? Go back to the Big Bang and you have this cauldron of matter. And this must have been a mistake. If this works, if this works, I need it to work. I need it to work. Okay, moment of truth, moment of truth. How? How do you do two. that? Sometimes the internet is really good. Sometimes the internet is really good. Bro. If this works. If this. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. This evening we will be reading Throat by Grayson. I like Bananu. I like Lim. I like Shit Robbery. I see Juriri. I see Pitu. I see Speddy. I see is crime. Thank <laughs> you. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, cute. <laughs> oh she's Popular cute. Than me. She has a really good uh, voice. If gaming consoles could talk. Do you really believe you're more popular than me, Nintendo Switch? Listen, PlayStation 5, I just think you could be a little more inclusive. Like me, I'm a family system. She has and such a nice voice acting. Like she's, mm -hmm. she has good mm -hmm. voice acting. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't have lasted a day in the 16-bit war of 1987. Ain't that right, Psychogenesis? Don't talk to me. Are you still mad about that? <laughs> At least you have Sonic. Oof. Now I see where Nintendo Switch gets it from. <laughs> oh, isn't my daughter adorable? 
adorable. PlayStation 5 would make her father so proud if he didn't leave me for that conniving son of a. Kids nowadays, am I right? I mean, something is wrong with that generation. Without me, I they couldn't even play with more than two Cassie players. Has she in Mary's comics? Girl, I don't have no kids. Kids are expensive, okay? And who is gonna pay for these upgrades? I just got a new set of RAM. I don't know if you noticed. I'm much better as the rich auntie. Immortality looks good on you. It's gaming console. M64 is a boomer, not gonna lie. I love M64! A carino of time! What the f***? M64 is not boomer. Oh no, we started a we have started a war, people. We have started a war! No! Help! Oh, my favorite friend. My favorite friend, my favorite friend, my favorite friend! I love this dude. Thank you. Can't sleep, eh? Check out my new sleep album, now available everywhere. Buddy. He's so comfy! Absolutely. Brenda, I'm so sorry for your loss. I Aww. hope this brings you some comfort. Here's my recipe for my famous six can chili. With one secret ingredient, some ground jitter juice. And then it's he nap time. Four hours on high. Plenty of time to make it to Mordor. I didn't know I had it in me to do a customer order that looked like this. It all started when someone oh, wanted yeah. me to get the Howl's Moving Castle nails. And once I figured out how to animate Calcifer's crap- Alright guys, you guys are gonna see that I'm a f nail- I'm a nail nerd, okay? I love nail shit. I love nail art. Uh, and she made some really cool nails, okay? It sparked my brain to come up with some really strange new ideas. Okay, so the first hand is gonna be themed after Hal's bedroom. And this level of maximalism is really intimidating for me. So I pulled inspo from both Eastern and Western brocade fabric, which looked busy enough as it is. And then I just kept piling stuff on. Look oh my God, I was so stressed. And so apparently shit. that made me bold enough to almost ruin Sophie's side with an unnecessary special effect. And it's time to show you around. First, we have Hal's bedroom aesthetic, look which I am completely in love. It matches this calcifer nail so well. And look carefully here because I'm trying to get the clouds to animate with the wind blowing. And all in all, I am loving this the more I look at it. I didn't what know a I had it in me to do custom. What a beautiful set. What a beautiful set, bro. Jesus Christ, she's so talented. Oh, this guy again. I saw someone try to take a, sh no! a shot of lemon juice without triggering the filter. Sorry. So that's what I'm going to do. Here we go. Let's top it off. Just kidding, I'm out. No, stop it. There we go. Cheers. Stop it. I haven't even... Okay. Okay, here we go. No. Wah. I can't... No. No. Okay. I can't even put it to my lips. What am I supposed to do? That's no. the new trend now. People trying no. to not activate the, okay. the, the filter. Maybe I just do it really fast. Like this. Mm -hmm. oh, no. Okay. A little at a time. Mm. Stop. No. Well, a few months ago, not anymore. No. Okay. Oh, I'm so close. Oh. Mm -hmm. I saw someone trying to take a, sh no! a shot of lemon juice without triggering the filter. Sorry. So that's what I'm going to do. Here we go. Let's top it off. Just kidding. I'm out. No, stop it. There we go. Cheers. Stop it. I haven't even... Okay. Okay, here we go. 
No. Why? I dropped my phone yeah. into a street gutter oh, okay. while filming a TikTok. Look, it's still up on the TikTok app because I was freaking <laughs> filming. Oh my god, you can see my face! <gasps> Okay. Step one, flip phone oh. over with your extendable oh. duster. Bro, what an idiot. Okay, it's flipped, bitch. Okay, Step two, go. use your roommate's magnetic okay, card holder to latch on. Come on, it's like a rescue mission. <laughs> okay. How the f*** did that work, bro? <gasps> Step it worked. Step three, fish your phone out and buy your roommate a gutter-free card holder. Can you believe that shit? Step four, clip. watch what the phone recorded. Hey girl, what's up? Oh, sorry, I almost just got... No! <laughs> I am so dumb. I dropped... <laughs> no fear unlock what, your phone falling into the drain? Your phone falling into the drain? Are you afraid? Are you afraid of the phone falling into the drain? Oh, this was pretty cute. Things in Japan that will send an American into a coma, Starbucks Japan edition. We all know that Starbucks Japan is great, but make a trip to this first ever botanical Starbucks in Japan. You'll see a botanical Starbucks ending show of flowers and digital art. Not only you get to experience this beautiful setting, you can also enjoy their limited edition drinks while enjoying this stunning view. Was also surprised to see a big aquarium and Nimoy still figuring out to find his dad. The flowers and plant workshops are held every day, so you can enjoy it in your own time. You can also experience feeding small clawed otter. When you step outside, you get to see this breathtaking view, colorful flowers, fresh air, and just happiness. Now you can put this in your itinerary on your next trip to Japan. Things in Japan that will send an American into a coma. Beautiful, Starbucks beautiful, Japan beautiful. We all know that Starbucks Japan is great, but make a trip to this first ever botanical Starbucks what in I Japan. Like? Yesterday oh, afternoon, I got an email from testing. an employee of a family-owned restaurant here in Vegas. I got it. Let's try Another it and rate it one to ten. I spent $86.73. The email read, I'm an employee at Frankincense Pizzeria. It's really slow. We really can't afford rent. And we would love for you to come and try the food. The owner don't know you coming. It's a family-owned business and the food is delicious, but we don't have a marketer behind us. That's the only reason why we don't really get that much business. The owner reached out to another food creator and they tried to charge us $2,600 to do a food review. How much do you charge? Please let me know. Thank you. I didn't charge absolutely anything and I bought my own food. This taste test is to really see, is it only because no, of the marketing or is the food bad or is the food service food taste bad? Testers out of I can business, tell you right bro. now, the service is not bad at all. And let me tell you why. I called my order in and a person who took it was Frank, who happens to be the owner of the restaurant. Frank was so dope. He literally took his time. He was patient. I was literally looking at the yeah, menu while man, ordering it. Yeah, man, people charge you for reviews out like, here. Take your time. <laughs> I went in. I paid for my order with the cashier. He came from around the corner. He like 6'3", real tall dude. Came around the corner and was like, grab you a pop out of there. I was like, I don't drink pop. He was like, what about a Gatorade? Grab it. He had no idea who I was. He walked up to me. He was staring directly in my eyes. And he was like, what do you do? At first, I was like, what? He was like, what do you do? I got social anxiety, so I give in pretty easy in person. So I was like, I'm a food reviewer. I kind of whispered it. And he was like, what? I was like, I'm a food reviewer. He was like, oh, we got to talk. We had like a 10-minute conversation, and I basically told him I'm going to be completely honest. I'm going to be 100% real. If I don't like the food, I got to tell you. I'm not trying to be malicious. And he was like, I'm going to be real with you, too. I need help. Yeah, 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 that hit me here. He said the food is delicious. He has great reviews on Yelp. The only bad reviews is that he don't close the time it says that he closed on Google. The time it says he closed on Google is 1 a.m. He was like, I literally can't afford to open that late because we don't yeah. get that much business. Frank, if you're watching this, I'm going to be completely honest. You are an amazing man from what I saw. I appreciated your time and I appreciated your conversation. Let's try this food. Garlic knots, off rip. These look amazing. Boy. Mm -hmm. It's some red chili flakes on there that makes it spicy. I was not expecting that to be spicy. That is delicious. 9.2 out of 10. We starting high. Peach chutney wings. I ain't never had a peach flavored wing before. Peach flavored wing. That's a delicious wing. It's sweet. It's salty. Mm. That's a 9 out of 10. One half of the classic Italian sub. This thing is huge. Frank. Bro, that was This so is good. delicious. All this food is so balanced so far. It's spicy. It's salty. 9.6 out of 10. I thought this was more food. He gave me a whole bag of ranch. 
I didn't even ask for that. That's good service. That just took me over the top. Mild wings. It look like homemade ranch too. I'm not a huge fan of the ranch. It's kind of bitter to me. But that wing, that wing is fire. I wish it was a little more spicy. For mild, it has no spice at all. So for the wing, it gets an 8 out of 10. The ranch gets like a 6.5 out of 10. Lemon pepper sauce wings. That thing packed with flavor. I ain't going to try the ranch again because, again, I'm not a huge fan. This is one of the best wings I've ever had. This is a 10. Holy shit. All-American burger. I haven't even tried the fries yet. They all come with fries. The fries are like a two. I'm not a fan. It don't really taste like nothing. It looked like a good burger. It is a good burger. That's just a good, classic, high-quality burger. 9.2 out of 10. Small, classic, white pizza. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. It's really good. 8.9 out of 10. That is classic, delicious, thin crust pizza. Really garlicky. Like, super garlic. Last but not least, a small, classic pepperoni pizza. Them some huge pepperonis. Boy, I swear, this is why I started making videos like this. Because places like this that don't nobody know of, this is a 9.8 out of 10. I'm a wholeheartedly agree with the employee here. Frank, from me to you, this is my opinion. There is no way you should be behind on rent or struggling to pay rent. It is marketing. That's 100% what I feel like. That food is delicious. The service is amazing. God is amazing. I'm always appreciative to be a vessel. I love trying places like this. This one of them ones. Yeah, Frank. Yeah, Frank. I'm coming back and I'm shaking your This hand. one is also in Vegas. It's Frankincense Pizzeria. God, be safe. Y'all have an amazing day. I Yesterday think, afternoon, I got an email. I think that was the guy that, like, his business was, like, failing. And he... And it was because of that review that his business was, like, restored back to life. Bro, you can tell. I browsed TikTok, like, at 3 a.m. A park. Well, hello, buddy. Welcome to the ice house. On over 30 feet of water and 22 inches of ice, plenty of speck, copper nose, and big old Larry's. See here, buddy. We like to eat good here. Beef blocks, some grapes, cheese, olives, and a cold pop. I just love his videos, they're so calming. This place is special. I've been coming here since I was a kid. So please, let's keep it a secret, eh? I Come promise, back anytime. I'll never tell anyone. Take care, and please, enjoy yourself. You wanna live like this, man? Oh, they walk. In the wilderness? Lake Kichigami. Dude, it's snowing so hard outside. never been in the snow before. I don't know what it's like to be in snow, but it seems like it's cool. Can't sleep, eh? Join me for some bagel bites.
Oh yeah, I think we've seen this one. This is the the ad for uh national parks. Are you dreaming about making the national parks your office? Come join me and help preserve our parks. I might even cook you some breakfast. I feel like you'd be the type that might like how snow looks but hates when it impacts your day. Well, probably, hello, probably. I don't know shit about snow. I don't know anything. I only know what I've seen in movies and TV and pictures and like if somebody is like video recording and I don't know much. I don't know much. Driving on snow really does sound like a nightmare. And it seems very dangerous and is very scary.